Hi guys, my name is Dr. Jennifer Forrester and this is my YouTube channel, Doc Beauty Health and Wellness. Welcome guys. Today I am going to be doing a full face of Pat McGrath Labs makeup. Yes, full face. So I have been on my makeup artistry journey, being reborn into it, for I'd say about three, four months. And I, of course, heard of Pat McGrath at the very beginning of this journey. And I've been watching documentaries that Vogue has done on her. I've been watching some of her runway stuff. I've been reading blogs about her and her brand and her journey um, as a makeup artist. And slowly but surely, I have been saving over that four month period to buy the products that I'm going to be using today. Now, Pat McGrath Labs is the most expensive makeup I have ever owned or worn in my entire life. But in my opinion, it is worth every penny. And I'll try to explain as I do my face why I think so. So I have already done my cleansing. Um, I've cleansed and moisturized and sunscreen already on my face. And so I'm gonna jump straight into it and start with a primer. Um, this is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer, okay? And it came, I got a, a trio set. It came with my um, setting powder and my foundation that I got, and that is the newest addition to my Pat McGrath collection. And so I'm just gonna give it a little shake. And I watched Robert Welsh. Um, he is a makeup artist in the UK and he did a tutorial on um, prepping oily skin for makeup and so I really like the things that he said in that YouTube video and I have linked his channel down below and um, so I only prime my oily areas that kind of need it that extra oil control so for me it's my cheeks here my nose okay this primer is going on very like silk it's going on like silk but um again you you pay for the silk on my chin all right and then on my forehead right there in my t-zone has a very um fresh scent to it um i don't do well with fragrances and makeup um so i like The fragrance, again, is a fresh smell. Soaks into the skin quickly. It feels good. So I have primed my face. The next thing that I'm going to put on is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And my color is Light Medium 9. All right, and it says to shake well. What I have found with Pat McGrath is... It is, it's not full coverage in terms of like when I wear my Tarte or my Too Faced um, coverage. So it's buildable though. So I'm just going to give a little pump and dot and begin dotting around those areas, my chin forehead and as I do my face today I will tell you and share with you guys a little bit of what I have learned about Pat McGrath and her her journey in the industry so from all the research I've done which is not you know con conclusive it's just my own finding out more about this woman and her journey into the makeup business the makeup industry beauty industry um, she started back in the 80s and she was walking down the road or walking down the street and someone said, ooh, I really like your makeup. You, you Can you do my makeup like that? And she stopped. She was like, she might have been a teenager, teenager, late teens, early 20s, something like that. And she stopped and looked at this woman and thought to herself, I can get paid to do this because she really enjoyed do the journey, the, the self-care, the journey, the doing makeup. I think like many of us do. 
And so she kind of got into it that way. And she was very much um, inspired by the punk movement of the 80s, which I thought was really cool. There was a, a Vogue uh, kind of documentary done on her that I found on YouTube. And it looked at, she had done a runway show, and it was all punk. And it was really cool. Really, really cool. All right, so I'm just blending this out with my sponge. Again, she is, this is a, when I, when I put it on my finger, it's liquidy. It's a very liquid, fluid, it's not viscous, it's not thick. Vis, viscosity is how thick the liquid is. It is not a viscous liquid. It is not thick. It's watery, but do not take that it's watery to say that the formula is not a good formula. This is an amazing formula. But again, Pat McGrath Labs, she she is a makeup artist in all of the big cities, and her makeup is used for the runway. So models can be touched up, you know, whenever they need to be. But I will tell you, I wore this for a full day a couple days ago just to try it out see how it did it stayed on the coverage was great it did not melt off so I really enjoyed it now I do have some redness and I am this is the only non Pat McGrath product that I will be using today and that is my concealer just teeny tiny dot. I'm just going to blend that in, and it really does, it blends nicely with the foundation. It doesn't stick at, stand out. Let me pull a smaller mirror up. And I also, I cannot believe how closely. This foundation matches my skin tone. I was just like, <clears throat> you know, when you order from the internet, and I, for e any company that I order from, I do the, the little beauty, the quiz, match your, find your foundation or match your foundation quiz. But I just cannot get over how well this matches. And I think it goes back to the formula, guys. It really, really does go back to the formula. All right, so that is my foundation. And I am going to use no other cream products. So now I am going to set everything. And this is Light Medium 2 Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder, okay? And it, it comes, like I said, in a trio. But of course, you can get all of these items individually as well. All right, so again, you guys know I set my entire face, paying close attention, of course, to my cheeks, under the eyes, my chin, okay. And then my forehead, that T-zone area. And I'm just tapping that on. All right. And I am using a Sigma F10 brush for that. All right. And then I'll just spot check everything. And as you guys can tell, I mean, while it's not full coverage, I have covered my face and I have evened out my skin tone. And that is, you know, what I'm going for. Okay. All right. Excellent. So next... I am going to prep my eyes. All right, so this is Pat McGrath Labs um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the color light. All right, so this is a very fine powder. I am using a Sigma F35. This is the tapered highlighter brush. Just take it. 
press it into my eyes. And I'm also just going to go over and use this setting powder to prime my eyelids. Okay? Because I really wanted to use as much Pat McGrath as possible products. Um, again, the only product that I'm using today that's not Pat McGrath is my Shape Tape Concealer. All right, guys. So the eye palette that I'm using today is Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. Absolutely beautiful shades. And just the way the light plays off of them. All right. So, I do not have a blush on yet, and what, again, I love about makeup is just because it's an eyeshadow palette does not mean you can't use it for a blush. So, this rose color here, I am going to use my Sigma F15 brush and just kind of pat, pat, pat. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented, guys. Woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> very, very pigmented. Very, very. All right. I'm going to have to blend that in with a sponge. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I have, you know, did not do this before, have not done this. All right. Now I'm just going to take my sponge <laughs> and kind of. Wow, guys, that is super pigmented. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blot it, kind of getting it all over my cheeks, all the way up into my hairline. You guys know how absolutely extraordinary these pigments are. It's not bad. Again, I just went all over that cheek area into the hairline underneath the eyes kind of all over all right and then i'm going to take my f10 brush again and i'm just gonna i'm really blending that in so lesson learned for jennifer there Pat McGrath stuff is extremely pigmented. So, wow, <laughs> that was cool. Okay, so for the eye look, I am going to start, mm, this is gonna be a shimmer look. And I'm gonna start with this right here, this color right here, this taupe color. Mm, and I'm gonna use my E40, Sigma E40. And again, I'm just going to pick up a little bit, and I'm going to start just dot, 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 getting it onto the eye. All right, getting that, blending that into my crease. It's very smooth. Sometimes, guys, I'll use eyeshadow palettes, and they just... They're not nearly as smooth as this, and the blendability. And again, these formulas are just. Right. I am switching gears to a Sigma E70. All right, it's an angle brush. And I am going to pick up this color right here. It's a little bit light lighter and it's a shimmer well yeah it's a shimmer and I am just gonna and the crease I'm just tapping that in the crease and then I'm gonna go back and forth and really I don't know if you guys can see really working that into just the crease but the lower part of that crease All right, just tapping it onto the brush, and again, tapping it on that the upper part of the 
eyelid right below the crease. All right, make sure you pull it down to your corners. All right, and I'm taking, going back to my blending brush, it doesn't have any product on it because I cleaned it up and then I'm gonna blend all that through. All right, starting out here, kind of blending all that in. All right, and then I'm gonna take that E70 brush again and I'm going to go in with this green, this green right here. I'm just getting it on. Okay, the brush. I'm going to start on the outside with this. Let's see what this looks like. I might have to do this with my finger. Let's see. So I'm taking that green and I'm tapping it. Just kind of want to see how it builds right now, honestly, guys. Okay. And I'm going to take it out into the middle of my eyelid. And I'm building that up. And I'm tapping and building and tapping and building. And it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm going to fix it up here in a second. I just want to make sure I have enough product. All right, so I'm going to clean that brush off really well. I've got my little half um, paper towel. Now I'm taking my E40 brush, my kind of blending, taper blending brush, and I'm going to go in to that green, and I am really going to blend that in. Okay, and then guys, I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'm going to take this purple right here on my finger. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's pretty. <laughs> oh, how fun, guys. All right, so I'm taking that purple on my finger. I'm kind of coming into my crease and I'm going across. You'll see I'm going across that halfway mark. Okay, guys, so I have that purple on with my finger and it's really, I mean, it's, whew. so I'm gonna now take that E, what is that, my E40? And I'm going to blend that just beautiful color. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. Okay. All right. And so I'm going to take my E70, that tapered brush again, and I'm going to pick up some more of that green that we were using. And I'm just going to kind of dot, dot, dot. Over the center. And then from that inner corner, I've got that green again, and I'm kind of bringing it out. Same thing right here on my left eye. Just blending that green in to kind of tie it all together. And then I am going to pick up this taupe that we started with over here. And then a little bit on the blending brush. And I'm going, I'm tapping it in that crease all the way over, okay? So again, I'm in my crease. And after I've tapped it in, I'm blending it all together, guys. Really blending it in. So this Right now is the eye look. Not bad. Playing around with some colors. And you guys know I am a newbie. I am still working on how colors go together. <laughs> 
how to blend, when to use mattes and shimmers, and what looks good on my eyes. Um, I have more skin on my eyes than the people who I watch, the makeup artists that I follow. All right, and that, that does make a difference. All right, so I kind of like it. Now I'm going to get that highlighter brush back out. And I usually don't highlight like this, but this is kind of fun. I'm just kind of playing around this gold champagne right here. I'm going to see if it'll pick it up on my brush. Oh, it's just sparkles. This is, and I'm going to, woo! <laughs> I'm gonna just sparkle a little bit. Oh my gosh, guys, how fun. Okay, I'm gonna sparkle right above my brow, brow bone. I'm sorry, yeah, not my brow, right under my brow bone. And then right above. <laughs> Look at that shine. How fun. <laughs> I don't think I've played with sparkles like that since I was a teenager. And that would be for prom. And that would be somebody else saying, Jen, you should totally try this. Because, again, I wasn't much. It just wasn't what I was into. Of course, as a teenager, I never slowed down long enough to be in, you know, in anything other than sports, sports and books. All right. Awesome. So this is our eye look guys with a little highlight sparkle. Okay. I'm going to curl my lashes really quick. All right, and then we have the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I love this mascara, guys. I have said that like in every video I've done. I love the formula. I love how it gives me eyelashes. And voila. Oh, wow, guys. I love it. I love that purple and the browns and the green. And I wish you guys could see me in person because I'm sparkling. I'm, I'm super sparkle. It's all over my eyes and my forehead and my cheeks. And I love it. All right. Now for my lips, I am going to use Pat McGrath Labs, uh, Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in Suburbia. And I went a little heavy on the liner because the color lipstick I'm using is called Flesh 5040, and this is the Matte Trance Lipstick by Pat McGrath Labs. It, it's a bit, has a red brick kind of color to it. And guys, even though this is a matte lipstick, it is so smooth. Oh, it's so smooth. And so this is our look for today. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel gorgeous. So this was really fun. Oh, and I'm so glad that you guys could be here with me as I did this full, almost full face of Pat McGrath makeup and I love it. I love her stuff. I love the formula. I love her story. I love how she has fought her way to be one of the top makeup artists in the industry. I love how her products make me feel beautiful. 
Um, not to say that other products can't make you feel beautiful, but I wanted to share this with you guys. And I am in love with Pat McGrath. And if I had the money, y'all just watch out because I would buy every single palette out there. Um, and I'm just, I feel pretty. So thank you guys again for watching today. And remember the PhD after my name means research, not medicine or medical practitioner. So any advice or opinions um, on my channel are mine alone. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and playing around with some Pat McGrath uh, Labs makeup. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.